Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an episode of Solo Nerds with your homie Tank. And today I have a really, really special guest. It's my good friend, Chaos. How's it going, Chaos? It's good, man. You know, I'm out of work. Everything is all set. I'm just ready. And I'm very excited to, for you to have me on the show, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm excited to have you here as well. And Chaos is not just joining us for the show just for today's show he's actually joining us for the long run ain't you chaos i have been accepted <laughs> <laughs> he is he will be working with me along with the youtube videos that we're coming out with um there's still a work in progress there's of course it's time we work we have other things to do and we do this on the side and i would just like to announce that to everybody the youtube videos there's they're still coming just gotta give us some more time um we excited for that pos- trailer man <laughs> most likely the trailer will come out holidays holidays okay. so we are doing what we need to do making sure everything's set the channel's set um what else the channel the videos um everything that we got going to make sure that everything is set and, and ready for our viewers to give you the best quality we can offer in terms of our videos for sure, well with for that sure. news <laughs> with that news done let's get into it b um PlayStation Paris Games Week. Did you watch the did you watch their press conference? Yes, I did. I watched the whole thing. I even was watching some cuz like uh I work like I work at a call center, so therefore like in between calls, I was actually watching the like the videos and even my supervisor came up to me and said, "What are you watching?" And I'm like, "Don't worry about it. I'm taking calls." <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm taking calls. See, right. that's, that's some balls on you right there. <laughs> I hate them. I don't like them. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't listen to uh, the cop to nerds. Eh, so what if he does? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, it makes it faster than me. You get the exactly. fuck out of there. Right. Like, oh, well. I didn't like you anyway. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't turn your phone off. <laughs> Silencio. That was, that, was, that was a text message. Sorry, I'm very popular. Very popular in my eyes. <laughs> All right, so Paris Games Week. Man, what can I say about that? Oh, my God, like, just so many amazing-looking games coming out. Um, I've always wanted to get into, like, the the Guacamole series, and just looking at it and just seeing that Guacamole 2 is coming out, just for them to even, like, come out with a sequel for it is just amazing. Um, The new Guacamole is going to be, like, four-player co-op, it's gonna be a beat 'em up, so you know that's gonna be super fun. I can't wait for that. Did you ever play any of those Guacamole games? I never did. I almost bought it once, but you should have. You should have. I, I was broke. <laughs> I got it once. Um, I got it free for PlayStation Plus on my Vita. Mm-hmm. This is why I told you to keep your Vita, dude. Um, Listen, I'll dude, get it later. That okay? was like the only game <laughs> for a time I was playing on my Vita was Guacamole because it yeah. is, it is a side scroller beat 'em up. Yeah. With the Castlevania, the, well, Metroidvania feel of it. Right, yeah. It just looks amazing. And they got some new attacks with the, when you become the chicken. And I just, I can't wait to play it. I really can't. Well, hopefully, well, um, I think you can still get the first one. No, I'm going for the second one. (laughs) No, I'm I'm just saying, I think you still could get the first one on the PS4. So you could just be like, give it a try and then. When you get the second one, it's like, man, this is a huge improvement from the first one. No, because also one more thing. Like, I love co-op games like that because, like, for example, um, the Marvel, like, uh, the Marvel game uh, Omega or something like that. Okay. Yeah. That one, like, I play that with my girl all the time. And, like, my girl, she's really into, I got her really into, like, the Diablo 3 series. And oh. it was just, I mean, she got all, she got the hang of it so fast. And, I mean, yeah. I've been actually looking for, like, you know, a really good co-op game because, she she loves video games, but you know, a lot it of them have a lot of controls attention. to it. Yeah, exactly. And I think she'll really like that one too. I did check out. I didn't see all of the Paris games mm-hmm. of PlayStation's uh, keynote, and mm-hmm. I feel kind of bad that I am talking about it and didn't finish watching it. Damn. But I did see shame. <laughs> <laughs> I did see the game. Um, man, what's the studio? Crap, the ones that did Infamous, uh, Sucker Punch. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, Tsune? Mm, uh, oh my god, I forgot. 
It's uh, okay. Ghost. Uh, ghost. It's called uh, Ghost Sushumi or Sushumi. Sushumi, yeah. yeah. Ghost of Sushumi. Uh huh. And I did like how that looks. I want to see more of it because it was more of just a visual. Like it was just more of a visual video. Like, they didn't give us any gameplay other than the samurai that you play as is also a ninja. Yeah. Oh, okay. that is pretty crazy. But they didn't really show us any gameplay like what's going to happen when you play the game. It was just more like, here's a bunch of good looking visuals and stay tuned till next year for the game. It's like, God, right. That was a lot of the trailers, too, because a lot of them were, you know, were showing. Um, they were just showing like kind of like uh, it was just pretty much just like trailers. It wasn't really gameplay. OK, not a lot of them were showing gameplay. Like, for example, uh, Last of Us 2. Now, that one was just pretty much like a cinematic trailer. However, okay, you can clearly see that they're not wrapping the story around uh, Joel and, um, what was the girl's name again? I forgot. I forgot What's the girl's name. name. Damn, I forgot the girl's name. Was it Ellie or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Like, they're not really, they didn't show Joel or Ellie in the trailer. What they showed was pretty much, like, how savage the people were getting, like, the actual survivors. And, uh, they, like, they captured this girl and like when they when they hung they were about to hang her and you look up and i mean you just see like these three bodies hanging and like their guts like their intestines are all hanging out of their bodies so it was pretty clear that this like you know this group meant business yeah so and then like um what do you call uh these two like asian girls uh they show up and they like save her i mean it's and then they end the trailer with just them like saying watch your backs and all of a sudden like the like the infected just come and attack them. I mean, it was a beautiful trailer. Uh, I cannot wait because I love. I'm such a big fan of the first one. Even though I'm sorry, I did not finish the story. Okay, but are you serious? Yeah, I did not finish. How the, the story. hell are you gonna be a big fan of the first one? But like, yeah, and I, I didn't finish. I mean, I played this, it to like the to the to the middle, but a lot of the sneaking around. See, I'm not a big fan of like sneaking around types, but that game was really fun and it was really interesting. I wanted to definitely know the end of the story. However, I'm not good at sneaking around. I always get found. I always get killed. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Well, that's just sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's... But it's, dude, just buy the game for the PS4. Buy the remastered version. I do. I have it already. Well, then beat it. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll beat it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, beat it. So that way you know at the end and. But, Get better um, at sneaking. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of the online though. The online is amazing. I heard that. I love I heard the, online. the online. is amazing. I just never played the online. Oh, see, see, the... see, you're you're talking bad about me. You haven't even tried the online. Because I don't care for the online. I care for that story, and that's what Naughty Dog is great at. Is giving you a fucking story. Yep. Like I, I'm a huge fan of the Uncharted series. I have all of them. I uh, as soon as Lost Legacy came out, I bought it like two days later. I beat it. I mean, I love Uncharted. That's my favorite favorite game. But have you played Uncharted one though? Yes. I played them all. Okay, cool. Now who? I forgot who was it. I think it was one of my other friends who, like, I'm a huge fan of Uncharted. Oh, cool. Which was your favorite one? Uh, number two. Wow. <laughs> Wow. What about part Dang. one, part three? Right, like part I four. I never played part one. <laughs> uh, Golden, Golden Abyss for the PS Vita? I mean, come on. You can't. I played all of them. That was pretty good. Yeah, I yes, had, it I was. I played that one too. Yes, it was. Like, especially when they, you know, incorporated the. Um... I did not like the motion controls or the touchscreen control choice. I love I the really touchscreen. I like it. The touchscreen, like, climbing the walls and everything. That yeah, was it was a little dumb. obvious that, you know, like, the pieces will, like, you know, shine bright and everything so you can know exactly where to climb. But I just love, like, the, you know, the touchscreen mechanics and everything. I love that game. It was so awesome. Yeah. Mm. I just hate the motion controls for the, with, with the Vita, how they implemented that game, and it's like, it didn't feel right. Mm. I didn't like it at all. But don't get me wrong, I, I played it, I beat it. Mm -hmm. It was just the fact that it was just the fact that I was just using those motion controls. Right. And it was just annoying. I wanted to turn them off so badly. Yeah. I hear you. I like to I like to first when like especially if there's a game that, you know, includes um 
motion controls, I like to try it out with the motion controls first. If I really don't like it and if I cannot get used to it, then I'll turn them off like you. But I like yeah. to try it out first because I want to experience the game the way the developer wants you to experience it first. No, I get what you're saying, mm-hmm. but if the game could be played without the motion controls, mm-hmm. but it was created with the ideal motion controls, yeah, nine out of ten times I'm turning off those fucking motion controls. <laughs> oh, now what we do got to talk about, and I know you saw these trailers, PlayStation VR, because you have the VR headset. I don't yet, sadly, but, I mean, come on, they're coming out with the expansion, finally, for Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 was an amazing game. Like, I spent two nights in a row playing that game nonstop with my friend, and I it was completely insane. Like, it took you far back to, you know, like, uh, the horror and, like, the suspense, and you walking around in first person, no weapons. I mean, come on, that is beautiful. They put you into that world, and I was afraid for my life every single time. Uh, fuck Resident Evil. That's one <laughs> game I will not be getting for my VR or just for my oh, PlayStation come on, in man. We like it was so awesome. I mean, we didn't. I didn't play it on the VR, but okay, he did have it on the Xbox, and we like tried to pretty much like um like imitate like the VR thing kind of. So we put the game on really loud. We put the stereo headphones on. And let me just tell you, like, I have not jumped from a game, in, like, in my life. And that game was, I jumped more than once, I'm not going to lie. I might have peed myself a little bit, but it was it was a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's rewind. Peed yourself, really, homie? Yes. How old are you? You're a grown-ass man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm allowed to pee. <laughs> Pause. Again, I did see the God of War trailer. Got me more excited for it. Oh, I can't man. wait to play that one. That one uh, was... Oh, I cannot wait, man. Yeah, I did watch The Last of Us. It was... I did enjoy it. There was some controversy around The Last of Us trailer. Saying mm-hmm. it was too gory and too nasty. And that it, it was causing a lot of controversy. Just because of the trailer. True. Yeah, I mean, they did show uh, one of the girls getting her, like, her arm bashed. Like, bashed in or whatever. With, like, a yeah. rock or something. And... Yeah, I feel like that's that might be a little too much for each other. But then again, like for the real hardcore fans, it's like, okay, it's setting the tone. It's exactly how the first one is. Brutal, gruesome, no mercy. So I definitely think that um, it wasn't needed, but at the same time, it didn't it didn't hurt it at all. Well, apparently with the controversy spread around, it kind of did. It's not going to hurt the sales, but... No, not at all. It kind of did hurt the <laughs> reputation, you could say. <laughs> that is true. But, wow, like, God of War, I mean, that game just amazes me every single time. From the first one to Ascension, and now this one, I mean, not only this one, like, is bringing Norse gods in, but still, they don't actually give you, like, any type of, like, story yet. I like how they're just, like, they keep you, it's like they give you a peek behind the curtain, but not the whole thing. Like, they just show you what you're going to be doing and what the mechanics are. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. And especially with the Norse gods, the Norse gods are way different. If you go like into lore of like mythology, yeah, Norse gods are way different than uh, the Greek gods. That's true. So when I was listening to the PlayStation blog podcast, uh-huh. they were interviewing the director of this God of War. Yeah. And everybody was talking about that giant snake. Like, oh my God, there's going to be a boss. You're going to fight the boss. But then no he threw... The director threw a 180 saying when the kid was translating, when the kid was translating the speech to Kratos. Yeah. He was saying he wants to help us. And that threw up. I bet you that threw a lot of gamers off. Like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to fight this monstrous looking snake. That's probably going to be awesome. He's going to help us. Unless like he betrays you at the end or something. Which I doubt it. Because if you look at the Greek gods, Mm -hmm. the Greek gods were very... What'd you call it? <laughs> they were pompous assholes. They yeah. thought they were all that, and, you mm-hmm. know, people worshipped them, and that was it. Where the Norse gods, they were more down to earth. Yeah. They didn't have these, even in Norse mythology, like, they didn't have, like, these crazy uh, castles and gold and all this other stuff. Dude, they have f- freaking um, 
homes. I forgot what they're called. They're like made out of wood, and this this is all the lore. Like cabins and all that. Yeah, not like cabins, but like a log house. Oh, okay. <clears throat> like those long homes, or whatever. Yeah. And that the gods would fight amongst with the men with, in battles and all this other stuff. Like yeah, they were a lot. They were more brutal than the. Uh, yeah, they were more than the brutal, Greek but gods. they were also more down to yeah. earth. So yeah, it was kind of like, like the villain. Mm-hmm. The villain would probably be Loki, Hell. Maybe. Loki, um, Hell, and a couple other like ancient evils or whatever. One thing I see, like, the difference between the two gods is, like, how you're describing them, I see pretty much, like, the Greek gods were, like, royalty. Whereas, yeah. like, um, the Norse gods are more, like, you know, like you said, down to earth, you know, willing to fight no matter what. And if you piss them off, watch out. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But this would be nice to see and definitely, uh, what you call it, check it out. It would be, I think it would be kind of cool mm. that... Even though it's, it's based in Norse mythology and we're in a different, the different part of the world or whatever, yeah, I think it'd be fucking cool if they uh had a couple of like cameos of the Greek gods. Like, can't you imagine Athena coming back Ooh. and like trying to talk to Kratos or whatever? Because what he did and killing Zeus and all the damage that he's done and ran away to this other world, I think that'd be pretty cool. Because it'd be a throwback to the old system, to the old days. That's true. Yeah, that could that could be you know that could be very cool. Um, like I said, you know, trailers still really don't show like a storyline. They just pretty much, they just said like the, um, I just say, they just said the scenery for you and they show you the gameplay of how it's gonna look. And let me just tell you, it's a beautiful scenery, and the gameplay. I mean, it's different now. It's behind a shoulder camera. I mean, it's. It's beautiful, man. I, I cannot wait till that comes out. I'm probably gonna be one of the first ones to buy that. Hmm. Uh oh, this uh Shadow of Colossus. For the some remake. reason, the yeah, they're re- remake. they're remaking not it re- for another it's system. It's not yeah. a. It's not a digitally remaster. It's a mm-hmm. full on. I think it's not be the same game, but it's re is being 4K. remade with today's, yeah. uh, game engines and everything. Yeah, and again, they showed a trailer of it. They showed uh, when you, like, battle the the flying one. And, man, like, that game is just... You know how, like, before on PS2, it was just, like, all, like, kind of... It was, like, gloomy. It was shadowy and everything. No, this one yeah. looks clear. I mean, dude, like, bravo. Uh, I don't know the... I don't know the, like, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the company behind that, but bravo to them. Ico Team? Yeah, I think so. It is called the Ico team. Mm-hmm. But, like, bravo to them. Because, <laughs> man, like, I mean, dude, this game, like, how it came out, like, what, more than, was it more than 15, 20 years ago? Not even 20. Mm-hmm. Like, what, like, 18? But, yeah, like, that that game, man, it's, it's definitely cool. I played it for a little bit when it came out on PS2 because one of my friends had it. And, um... You know, we definitely like, played it for a little bit. Got to kill some, uh, I believe they're Titans, right? Or like uh, Colossus? Colossus. Yeah. Got to kill some of them. I uh, love the game. Never really bought it, but I'm thinking about getting it when it comes out for the PS4. Yeah. I wonder with this, if they're going to go ahead and remake Ico. Hmm. Maybe. Because Ico. Shadow Colossus and I believe the Last Guardian are all connected in the same universe. That's true. Because at the end of Ico and spoiler warning, at the end of Ico, <laughs> <clears throat> spoiler warning everybody. But and at the Last Guardian, not at the end of not the Last Guardian. At the end of Shadow Colossus, uh, the main character I think he's either looking or holding. I forgot. I think he's holding the baby that. He's holding a baby, and the baby has horns. Hmm. Brings you to Ico. So Shadow Colossus is before Ico. Ico, I want to say... Could lead into The Last Guardian? Leads into The Last Guardian. Hmm. And I have The Last Guardian. Yeah, have you beat it? played it. Wow. Wow. Dude, I'm at this point where I'm just like collecting games and not even fucking playing them. Uh no, I know how you feel, man. Like, like I need to stop. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I rather I rather just buy games when they're on sale. Like when I bought Doom, then uh, Until Dawn. 
mm-hmm. both of them I paid for both games for like twenty bucks. I was like, fuck yeah. Oh, Doom was good actually. I got Doom for free when it came out on the play on the PS Plus. It came out for PS Plus. Yeah. Fuck. When did I miss that? I don't know. It was last year, I believe. I got that one for free, and I well, loved it. The story is really good. Yeah. Behind Doom. But yeah. Well, um, well with this new was... Doom, it is a remake. Uh, I want to say it's a a reboot, sequel, pre sequel, something like that. Mm. They were like rebooting the franchise. That's why it's just called Doom. Yeah. Might be. Well, if it, if it keeps looking like the way this one looked, I mean, it was. Uh, I don't know, like, it, it made going through hell look cool. <laughs> I'm just saying that <laughs> right there. Going through hell look like, cool. going to hell look cool. So. With a chainsaw in hand. <laughs> with a chainsaw, with, you know, with a, with, with a, uh, Saw what they call shotgun. it? No, 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 with the suit, uh, the, uh, uh, like a space marine suit or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Give me that and I'll go to hell. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring back anyone you want. <laughs> just give me the suit. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what are what are the games? Oh, uh, let's talk about like some indie games. Um, there was this one that really stuck out to me. Um, Ore. Yeah, no, I didn't see that. You didn't see Ore? No, I didn't even see much of it because when I was watching it, I was on lunch at work. Uh huh. And right when I was get, like getting into it. One of my colleagues um, came up to me. He's like, hey, I need you at the window. Somebody's having, Somebody needs help. I was like, all right, cool. So I think I paused around like the 20, 30 minute mark. Mm. Don't really remember. I walked oh, away, man. helped him out. When I came back to my desk, I was like, man, what was I, what was I doing again? But then again, it did took like the remainder of my lunchtime to work. So yeah, I should have been already like a normal time to my working normal schedule. True, true. And I was like, you know what? I'll just watch this later. Never watched it. All right, well, <laughs> homework. Homework for tonight. Finish the, for tonight. Finish the show because it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Play fucking Mario Odyssey <laughs> once we get off. No, you're going to watch. Finish the show, man. It's a really good show. I'm going to finish it. I'll probably just watch it tonight <laughs> after we get off. But <laughs> that Mario Odyssey, though, it's freaking... Ooh. Yeah, now you got to talk about that because I don't have it, but definitely, you know, fill us in on that. What's going on? It's fun. It's Mario. And you're traveling across the globe. I'm not trying to give out any spoilers. Ah. <laughs> what you expect? No, no, nothing, nothing. Um, what was I going to say? I did beat uh, the game, though. Okay. So, okay, I played it at GameStop. Now, I don't know if the button, like, if the controller was malfunctioning on me. All right, but when I threw, I couldn't throw the hat while I was running. I had to stop and throw the hat. Is no, that the true? No, was malfunctioning. Oh, okay, okay. Because <laughs> while you're running, perfect. you could throw the hat. Cause yeah, there was I, was, certain, I was getting mad. I was getting a certain, uh, what do you call it? It's a certain action mm-hmm. is when you're running and you throw the hat yeah. and you run into your hat. And you, you could, like, bounce it jumps, on it? It makes you, it boosts, uh, it makes you, what do you call it? it? It bounces you up in the air. Oh, cool. So... For certain parts of the maps, that's something you'll do. Okay. But other than that, dude, yeah, the controller was malfunctioning at the GameStop. Okay, good. Um, because I was getting mad, is, <laughs> dude. But no, my, I'm not bullshitting. The game is pretty fun. I've been stuck in it, and after I beat it, I'm just going back to these levels and collecting the moons, the power moons. Yeah. <laughs> because from what I'm hearing, the more moons, if you collect them all, you unlock a lot of more shit. And I'm not spoiling because I haven't. I can't even spoil anything because all I just know is when you collect more moons, you unlock more shit. Right. And there's so many moons, I can't really spoil anything because I haven't really collected a lot of the moons yet to spoil anything. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like, God damn it. You need to, uh, what do you say? Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm losing, like, I'm losing words today. I don't know what the hell to say. You're tired. I don't know, maybe. No, you need to devote like 24 hours a day, seven days a week to that game. <laughs> uh, fuck no. Uh, let N- Nintendo pay me. <laughs> that's your that's your weekend right there, Mario Odyssey <laughs> all weekend. Mario Odyssey. That's what I did last time. Why do you think I beat the game so soon? Oh shit, that's crazy. Yeah, 
and you know what's funny? I had uh, Fire Emblem Warriors before it, and I haven't beat Fire Emblem Warriors. That's for the 3DS, right? No, for the it's for the 3DS, but it's also for the Switch. Ooh, okay. So I got that with all the Amiibos. It was just two of them. No, oh, and I did get the Amiibos for Mario Odyssey. You're just turning into a collector now, like you said. <laughs> you're not even playing games anymore. I am a collector. <laughs> I'm a collector of souls. Right. Let's see what else. What else? Ooh, Call of Duty World War II came out today. All right, so we're just going to skip this part and go <laughs> on to, like, a real game. <laughs> Look, man, I'm a Call of Duty fan, okay? And for them to go be going back to World War II, getting rid of all the exosuit bull and just straight up, just, uh, you know, running and gunning again, like, I'm a huge fan of that. So I'm definitely going to buy it. I know Tank is not going to buy it, but I'm definitely going to buy it. Now, don't get me wrong, I still have Battlefield 1. I love that game as well. But I feel like every time I don't have a Call of Duty, I'm like, I'm missing something. Because my gaming started with Call of Duty. I mean, you remember back in, like, school days. Like, every day after school, Modern Warfare 2, everyone got on. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> like well, That's that, when it was that's how a we good met. fucking game. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's true. And who knows? Like, it might be, this one might be good. So, I'm definitely going to get it. I know, well, I know I struck out with, well, no, no, I didn't really strike out with Black Ops 3. Um, I got Black Ops 3 because I liked the mechanics of it, and it played really well. And then after, like, maybe three weeks of playing it, I got bored. So, I'm going to get this one, but hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't happen again, because I really regret it. <laughs> well, Black Ops 3 was okay, it wasn't all that great. And what was the one before? Advanced Warfare? No, I didn't even bother with Advanced Warfare. I got Advanced Warfare, but I got it for cheap, and that was just to New. Sh- uh, shut an old friend up. Yeah. But, yeah. <clears throat> That's that. But, um... I didn't even get Black Ops 2, like, last... You um, got Black Ops 2. No, I didn't. D- didn't you pick it up? I don't no. remember... No. Mm-mm. You had the first Black Ops, and I borrowed it from you. The first Black Ops was fun. Like, I love, why can't they go back to, like, customizations, like, of the red dot and all that? That, that was fun. Well, they're going to World War Two, homie, so they ain't going to have that customization bullshit. Black Ops was, wasn't like Black Ops Vietnam War? <laughs> Black Ops, yeah, Black Black Ops. Yeah, Black Ops 1. Black Ops. Mm-hmm. The first one. It was Vietnam. Black Ops 2 was... What was it like in night in the year twenty twenty thirty uh, something I like that? I didn't even bother. And with then the Black Ops three was more like the year twenty fifty whatever bullshit. I didn't even bother with the future ones. Like I'm just like no, I don't like it. Did you see like uh most of the VR ones? Because they were. I showing... seen only a few. I didn't really. I think that's where I left off at, dude. I think that's where I left off is the VR. Okay. So I'm kind of mad that. I didn't get to see it, but my guy was telling me about this game called Bravo, and it's like, it's a shooter for the VR. He said it looks really, really good. Bravo. bravo. So, hmm. sounds like somebody's heater kicked in. I did not see that. Yeah, it's my heater. (laughs) Um, It was called Bravo, and I don't know if that was shown off there, or if it was shown off sometime later. Yeah. But... He was telling me it's a shooter and that uh, it uses the that that VR gun, whatever. Mm-hmm. It uses that, and it's similar to Farpoint. Oh, maybe because I know there was one where you like you would go like from you know like uh you would like get in a shootout at a nightclub or um it was pretty much like it was like f- like for a cop like an LA story and. You know, it's VR, and, you know, you see, like, you know, the, like, half the hands and everything that you're controlling, yeah. and then, like, the the guns. One thing I did not like about that game, if that's the game that he's talking about, is the aiming on it. You can't, like, aim down on the sights. Well, you technically can aim down your sights, but guess how you gotta aim down your sights? Lift the controller up, my homie. Yeah, but, st- I don't know, just, it didn't look that great, and, like... While they were shooting, like, the gun was going sideways, so I don't know if it was still in development, or... 
I just it didn't uh, it didn't look like it was trailer ready. Yeah, it didn't look just ready in general. Exactly. Well, yeah. with VR, I think just VR was just a fad, and that was it. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make it, you know, something permanent. I don't really think it's going to be permanent. Um, let's see. The only game that, like I said, looked really good was the expansion to Resident Evil. And that was, like, the uh, Not a Hero expansion. Yeah. So pretty much you're going to be playing, like, Chris Redfield. And I feel like... He's going to be going after, like, the Lucas guy. Dude, to tell you the truth, when it comes to, like, the VR games, mm -hmm. the ones who do it best are third-party developers. Yeah. When it comes to, like, first-party developers, like, Sony coming out with these games, mm -hmm. a lot of them look just corny or just ugly. Like, yeah. Eve Valkyrie. That game is slowly getting better and better with all the updates, and it still mm -hmm. looks gorgeous. Yeah, like, it I, does. That's like the that, that's the only VR game I have. It gave me a bit of a headache I, last time. I got Farpoint. <laughs> yeah, but that's because I had a what you call it. Yeah, we had I, to calibrate the headset. I had to, to calibrate me. it. Yeah, yeah. So so that way it sets you, and that way when you're playing it, you don't look all cross-eyed. Yeah, that's true. Like my head was hurting. I was like, what? <laughs> and you were fucking sweaty. Yes, bro. You were drenched as if you jumped in a pool and you were only playing for like 20 minutes. You're like, all right, wait a minute. Why the fuck it, am I looking this way? Because the headset's hot, man. I really wanted to try rigs. You said you were going to get it, but you never did. I got it. Did you try it? How is it? I haven't tried it. It's free for the PS... It was free for the PS Plus, but I got it. Okay. Oh, uh, what was another game? Uh, oh, you said you got Farpoint. Have you tried it? No, I'm actually going to try that this weekend. Okay. Because, like, I saw the much... gameplay for that one. That one looks sick. Yeah. You're just going Especially around killing like giant bugs. My, it was my my guy who sold it to me. He gave me it at a very, very, very low price. 65 bucks. Really? For the game. For the whole thing? And the controller. Ooh, nice. You already had the move it. controller, right? No, I have one move controller, but he gave me that, the gun. That, that gun they use. Yeah. The, that's what he gave me. And just that gun alone, I think that gun alone is like eighty something bucks. Yeah, like um, with like the the pack itself is like seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, I think the bundle like Farpoint with the with that gun or whatever gaming bundle. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's probably like one twenty or something like that, or one hundred, whatever it was. He gave it to me cheap. I got it, and I'm definitely gonna try it this uh, maybe tomorrow. Cool. I just need to, because I put my stuff away, like the little, the, what you call it, the processor unit and everything. I put all that away. Yeah. So now I just got to take it back out, hook it back up, and give it a try. Okay. Cool, cool. The, oh, they also showed a trailer, like a more detailed trailer of Spider-Man, the new game. Oh. It actually I does have it. a title now. It's just called Spider-Man. And it looks awesome. And the the trailer begins with Peter Parker introducing uh, Miles to like a teacher in the school. Yeah. So who knows if they're even gonna you know bring in Miles like as the new Spider Man? So who knows? Well, they're probably isn't gonna bring in Miles because what I heard is that Mary Jane is play is a playable character. Oh okay. Ooh, one of that like Spider Gwen. That'd be pretty cool. Spider Gwen. <laughs> Spider Gwen. That'd be pretty cool because then. We'll have a plethora of players to play as That's true. and to unlock. Oh yeah. Cause Spider Man, Spider Gwen, and Miles. Miles Morales is Spider Man. Yep. They are all like they all have like the same concept of abilities, but then there's something unique to all of them. What is MJ gonna do? Take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like are we gonna be doing like some we're gonna as we're gonna be, side stories with nah. MJ and that's it? No, we're gonna we're gonna be like we're gonna go up to the villains and then we're all gonna get captured, and then Spider Man's gonna come in and like save us every single time. It's like if we don't call out the Spider Man before the villains capture us, we die. <laughs> that sounds very. Annoying. That's gonna be the mission. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very annoying. <laughs> We're going to get the swing with Spider-Man. But yeah. No, like, imagine if Venom was a playable character, man. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. However, he was not shown in the trailer, so... Yeah, then he's not going to be in the game. Don't if crush. he's the one that's shown in the trailer, bro, he's not going to be in the game. Do not crush my hopes and dreams, okay? 
Oh, I'll make sure I crush him. <laughs> oh, I'll pull, man. I'll pull uh, a Loki. Right. No, better yet, I'll pull a Samuel Jadam, Samuel Adams. Samuel Jackson? <laughs> Samuel one? Jackson, yeah. You sure? <laughs> Did I say, man, what the hell? I said it's Adams or something? says Samuel Adams. I'm like, damn, you want a Sam- beer? <laughs> I'll join you. Yeah, I need a beer. <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking tired. But yeah, Sam Jackson, when he told Loki, uh, what was it? Ant Boot. <laughs> That's the same response I'm giving you right now with your hopes and dreams. <laughs> Ant Boot. No, but seriously, <laughs> man, like I'm super excited about the Spider-Man game. I'm glad they finally gave it a title, so that's good. That means you know they're not giving up on it. Yeah. And also, I mean, just the fighting mechanics, dude. It, it's gonna be like Arkham again, like the Arkham games, and I love it. I love that fighting style. I didn't care for Arkham, but Spider-Man's uh, <sighs> fighting. I I did I did uh, like the old Spider-Man games. The mm-hmm. ones you fought, especially the ones they made like after the movies, mm, to yeah. me they were all good. The ones that were based off the movies were st- were corny, but it was still fun. True, true. Because you were swinging around New York, and I love that's one thing I loved. And to see this game, and how gorgeous it looks, and yes. how you know play as Spider Man just running around the blocks, mm-hmm. acting a damn fool, it's gonna be amazing. That's true. My two favorite Spider Game Spider Man games. Are Ultimate Spider Man, where he was kind of like a, it's like a cell shaded kind of type. Isn't that the one with Venom and Venom was like super huge? Yeah, it was like where you got to play as Spider Man and Venom. Yeah, and I then, never played that one, but I've oh, seen it. it and I was like, I always wanted to play it. It was so much fun. It was like playing a comic book. And then uh, the second one is uh, Web of Shadows. That one was cool. Where, I like, play the, Web of Shadows. This... Isn't that the one where you can play as different uh, types of. Like different versions of Spider Man, like Spider Man Noir, Spider Man, yeah, fut- or like a futuristic whatever. No, 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 no. That was uh, you're talking about Spider Man Shattered Dimensions. That one was also a good. Uh, one. No, I'm talking about Web of Shadows. Um, I I'm sad to admit it. I had it for the Wii, okay, but it was still a really good game. Like the symbiote took over the entire city, and it was like so absorbing people. It was turning them into like these symbiote like zombies and then wolverine got it absorbed i mean it was it was such a good game i feel like fighting a guy who can't die <laughs> right a symbiotic right and he looked so badass as a symbiote i think he yeah i think i seen that boss fight he was like super freaking crazy and his claws became like super huge yep yeah that was it that was one of my all-time favorite games for spider-man web of shadows if y'all haven't gotten it, go rent it, cause it's a beautiful game. If you guys have the Wii or PS2, <laughs> the Wii or PS2. No, actually, no. Sorry, PS3. It came out yeah, for PS3. Yeah. Probably came out for all three systems. Yep, but it was it was a really good game. I liked it a lot. I didn't play Shattered Dimensions, but I heard that one was a pretty cool game too. Yeah. How about let's play a? How about we talk about for the last. A couple more minutes over of this cast. Mm-hmm. How about we talk about our one and only true love, Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be exact, Destiny 2. Uh, excuse me. It's no longer my love anymore. <laughs> okay. After what happened uh, oh. Wednesday night. <laughs> All right. I'll go ahead and explain why you go ahead and blow some steam. Mm, I need to walk so, around for this. <laughs> Wednesday night, me, Chaos, and a couple of our other buddies all get together. The clan, bro. The clan. Our clan members, we all get together and run the raid. And we're doing such a great time. We started at 7 o'clock, and by the time we reached Callus, it's already 10 o'clock. So our first run through was horrible. It took forever. But mm-hmm. our second run through, we were doing great timing. Mm-hmm. We reached Callus. Mm-hmm. And the game started to glitch and bug out on us. There was time Callus disappeared. There was time certain uh there was time where the game thought we that one of us died or we all died, even though we didn't, and everybody's alive, but but we just restarted because we all wiped out for some reason. It was super annoying. So annoying. We were we were at the final boss and it started a glitch. I was but, like for example, like I was inside like the mind's eye or whatever. 
you know, where like you fight the skulls and yeah. like Callus was being a little bitch to me, I swear, because <laughs> every time he sucked me, um, he sucked me in. You're supposed to get stopped by like some like barriers so you can, you know, like kill the scions and, you know, make sure you get into position. Yeah. Okay. So every time we killed, you know, like the scions and everything, everything was all good. We were in sync. Then all of a sudden, the final one, you're supposed to like get stopped. No more scions. Okay. And then you got to get ready for the fight with the when the skulls are coming out of his mouth. Yeah. Every time I got sucked into that last part, I I didn't jump. I didn't move. Okay, Callus like kept like he wouldn't stop me. He I kept going through the barrier. And it just pissed me off so much. Like, see, you know me. I'm not the type to quit on a video game, especially when we're so close to finishing it. But when I tell you that was one of the first ones, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I am not playing this anymore. Like, it was 12 o'clock at night, and we were still, like, in the first two phases of Callus. It I'm wasn't like, 12. It was 11. We, g- we gave up 11? at 11.30. Oh, like okay. Like, around 11.30. Yeah, see, last time we played until, like, 2 a.m., and this time I just couldn't take it anymore. It was just, it was pissing yeah, me off so much. Yeah, I was not so going to repeat another 2 a.m. session. No, not at all. No, especially uh, with one of our clan members having to work at, like, 6 in the morning. No, 4 in the morning. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, hen dog. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hen <Hemba. laughs> His name reminds me of, like, um... Do you ever play the game Clay Fighter on N64? No. No? There was this one character on there, okay? It was, like, a little yellow dude. And his power was throwing gumballs at you. Yeah. Okay? And every time he threw it, he, all you hear was just, like, gumba, gumba. <laughs> and so like now every time I see him be like Hemba Hemba <laughs> I'm gonna mess with him See if he knows what I'm talking about He probably might mm-hmm. Yeah I had a 64 growing up dude But I didn't really have much games for it Oh no like I I didn't have the game Like my friend did My friend had a whole bunch of games I had the N64 but I stuck to the classics Um, Donkey Kong 64 Amazing game loved it uh, Even though it's like, I think it's a cult classic because it yeah. did so well. And uh-huh. some people say the controls sucked. <laughs> no, I loved it. Um, because it introduced like the other two, uh, like Donkey Kong characters. Okay. So, Donkey Kong, as you were saying before your dog really interrupted. Yeah, Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart, and uh, what other ones? Oh, Smash Bros. Gotta have Smash Bros. I never played Smash Bros. for the 64. What? No, I have, but I never owned it. I, the first copy of Smash Bros. was Melee, and I'm just waiting for <laughs> Smash Bros. for the Switch, and I Ooh, think yeah. I'll be complete. That's, That's all I just want. I just want Smash Bros. for the 6. And I keep announcing on this cast, <laughs> Smash Bros. for the Switch. Let's bring it. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. Yeah, like, Smash Bros. was one of my all-time favorites. Because that was actually, like, I always remember that game because that is the very first game that I actually got so mad. Because I know you guys remember um, when you had to face, like, the new characters and they were, like, on a whole nother level. Yeah. Okay? Like, my nemesis in that game was Captain Falcon. I could not (laughs) beat him. And I I wanted to unlock him so bad and I could not beat him. And it got to a point where, like, on my fifth try... Okay, I literally, like, I threw the controller. That was the very first time I ever threw my controller. I threw the controller at the TV. My dad got mad, and I got grounded for two weeks. <laughs> hey, God damn it. Yeah. 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 You're grounded. <laughs> damn. No, I can't play for two weeks. <laughs> now I can't play. I can't. Now I got to face this bastard in two weeks. Yep. Come to a train. Come to a training montage. Right, that was like, that was. Dum <laughs> dum dum. <dum-dum. laughs> and is this you, uh, training your thumbs, <laughs> right. with weights and stuff? Right. <laughs> yeah, man, it was it was a good memory though, really good memory. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, sorry, to, sorry to say this, but it's time to cut it. Mm-hmm. Chaos. Just want to say thank you for joining us again. Um, can't wait for the YouTube videos to come out and, you know, 
I want to appreciate everything that you've done, you know, helping me out with the YouTube videos, mm -hmm. uh, doing recording and, you know, just all about helping out. And I'm really, really glad to have you part of the team. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's been a good one. So I just want to say have a guys good night, sweet dreams, <laughs> or good morning. Have a good day at work. Right. <laughs> Whenever like, you're listening to this. Good fight and good night. <laughs> <laughs> good fight and good night. You can find all of our details and links below in our description. Any questions, comments, concerns, please email us, which will be in description as well. Mm -hmm. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. See ya.